Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This week I'm planning for the week of August 21st through to the 27th, which also happens to be my birthday week. I turned 30 on the 27th, so that's, you know, it's a pretty big birthday. Didn't do very much because I have a newborn at home, obviously, so um, I'm using this happy birthday kit from Label With Love Co. Absolutely love this kit. I've been hoarding this for my birthday for quite a while now. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to use it for my birthday. Just loving these colours and the deco is so, so pretty. I love those gold balloon numbers. So I'm just going ahead and starting to put down my washi and I realised that I put the long strip of bottom washi along my short side. So I fixed that straight away, pretty much. So these kits from Label with Love Co are massive. If you're a white space planner, you could probably get away with three or four weeks out of one kit. They're really, really big and really great. So next I'm deciding what to do with these thinner washi strips and I actually decide to put them across the top. And I really like how this turned out. This is something I've never done before, so um, a bit of a, a risk, but um, I really liked it. So what I do instead of putting my date covers where they normally go, I bump them down a little bit. So that does mean I have less space during the week for my plans. But because I was home with a baby and not much was going on in my day-to-day -day life, I didn't need a lot of space for like to-do lists. So as you'll see, as I continue on, what I end up doing is cutting down my to-do lists on most of the days. So cutting down my ombre heart checklists and just making those smaller. And now I'm going ahead with my today headers across the top and I am color blocking this week. Another great thing about these kits is that the headers are set up so you can color block. And I really love how it looks with the finished product. Okay, so I'm going to start going day by day now because I don't know how much space I'm going to have at the bottom of the checklist. So just putting in some washi strips and I'm just going to mark sort of main things that happened each day. So I put in two half boxes on Monday. One's for one of my best friend's birthdays and the second one is to um, remind me to call, call people back about, you know, that we're home and that we're doing fine and everything. So for my friend's birthday, I'm using some of the deco from the kit and this happy birthday script. And then I'm using a Lily Pink Prince phone icon for um, my phone calls that I need to make. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little things header. And there I'm just measuring up how many hearts I'm going to have to cut off my over heart checklist to make it fit. And putting in my full box. So just standing up with a short three heart checklist there, which is more, more than enough for this week. Moving on to Tuesday, again just putting in some washi. I love the patterns in this kit, they're so pretty. Then a half box to mark that my little man got sick and we'd only been home two days, me and the baby from hospital, and he got really sick. Um, he had either gastro or the flu, I can't remember, he's had both <laughs> recently, but um, yeah, it was awful, temps and vomiting and just not fun. So on this day I put in a full checklist because not a lot happened in the today section, so I had the space. And just filling in the empty space with washi and putting my header in above my full box there. And that stethoscope icon it was from the kit, I'm pretty sure. Then for Wednesday, I put in a quarter box at the top to mark that my son missed daycare because he was homesick. And I use a thermometer icon from this Pretty Posh Planning medical icon sheet. Then next, a half box goes in for one of my friends coming to visit to meet baby. And then I just pop in a little decorative coffee icon from the kit to mark that. Then I choose my full box and I end up choosing this beautiful navy with the girl. I'm trying to match my full boxes to my, my colour block colours for the day. I love that full box. So pretty. 
and then I just trim off the top part on this checkbox. Thursday gets a little bit tricky. Um, I'm just a little bit confused while I'm doing this. So if you see me sort of pause and I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do because this is different to what I usually do. So I put in a quarter box for my orthodontist appointment this day and I forget to put my arc on him, but I do go back and do that later. And then I'm just waffling around trying to decide what I'm going to put in next. But I do end up putting in my full box from my Black Wombat AU baby milestone kit for my little girl turning one week old. So I just put that straight in under that strip of washi. I love these, they're so cute. Just deciding on my full boxes and figuring out how much space I'm going to have for my checklist here. So baby's doing great, she's feeding really well, she cries a lot, which my son never did, so that's a bit of a struggle, but um, yeah, I mean, she's she's fine, she's healthy. We think she has reflux, the doctor said she probably does, but she's getting weight well, so we're not too worried. Okay, I just stuck one of the flowers off the deco sheet over that spot where it has date, because obviously the date is at the top of the page. Okay, moving on to Friday, I put in a full checklist because I do need that for the day. And then this beautiful balloons full box. And some matching washi. Had a few things going on today. So I take a pencil from my That Planet Girl sheet and I just put in the black one for my son's daycare. He was well enough to go to school this day, so that's good. Then I put in a half box what? to mark that. Oh, yeah. Another friend was coming to visit. Sorry if you hear my toddler there in the background. So that uh, half box is for another friend coming to visit to meet Bob. Just digging through my things. Then I put in a flag for doing groceries and the little grocery cart icon and a payday sticker. Again, I forget to put in my icon for that half box, but I go back and do that later. So I'm taking this beautiful foil um, washi tape from Washi Tape Australia. It's gold foiled and like hot pink little dots. And that's just to back my weekend banner. Just putting in a couple of strips of that and then I trim the edges. My weekend banner down. I love the spread. Makes me so happy these colours. Gold and that raspberry pink, so pretty. Okay, this half box is to mark that a friend of ours, um, little boy's birthday party was this day, and my my husband took my son, so they went and they had a good time. And that cake and that happy birthday script is just off the deco sheet again. Then again, going in with my full box and my checklist, I, I should have used that blue one for this day to colour block, block properly, but I really wanted to use that blue one with the, the gold crown on it for my um, upper left corner, my thankful thought box. Just deciding what I'm going to do, I do end up putting that half box in, the lighter pink one. So going ahead and putting in a couple of half boxes this day. The first one is for my birthday and the second one is for we went out for breakfast. Well, we just went and got McDonald's <laughs> and then came home with it, but um, it was still a treat for me. <laughs> and then I'm putting in this happy birthday box with the cake for my actual birthday. I know a lot of people will probably put that up in their um, thankful thought box, but I wanted to put it on my actual birthday. And then this little junk food sheet is from Closet Planet Addict and I'm just putting the little pancakes for uh, breakfast. And then I'm putting my age in the balloons and this little bunting. So pretty. I can't believe I'm 30 already. Gosh. Feeling old. And then I'm just going to put in a bit of deco. I just moved that three up slightly. Down slightly. Down slightly. 
didn't really matter, but it was bugging me. And I just put in some balloons and either side of the, the numbers and you know, I really like that. It makes me happy. <laughs> now I've remembered my icons, so I'm going back with um, my Peaceful Mind Design teeth for my orthodontist. And that coffee mug is from Planet Envy Go, little um, deco sheet. And then my Peaceful Mind Design Recycle icon on Wednesday. Alright, sidebar time. So I take a bit of time here deciding which colours I'm going to put where. I love all the colours in this kit, so I really struggle <laughs> choosing what I'm going to use. So I end up putting navy, and that's my, again, Peaceful Mind Design month script stickers. And I just sort of layer it over the top. And use my full box. I love this full box so much. That glittery crown and that blue. So pretty. And my habit tracker goes in. And my next week header, I end up choosing the navy weekly box camera cut out. So, and I'm off camera there, so you can't see that. But I put a work header in for my study box. It is still work, it's study, but it's work. And then my other pink ombre heart there and some washi. And that's just my study goals for the week. And then all my numbers. And I was so scatterbrained this week, I actually put my inserts away after I put the numbers in, or after I filled everything out, before I did any deco. So I've edited that out, obviously, but stupid me. I don't know what I was thinking. I put it all away and then I went, oh no, my deco. <laughs> so I had to pull them back out and put my deco in, of course. So now I'm just going ahead and filling everything out. I was going to use that light blue um, Statler Tri Plus fine liner, but looking at the stickers, there's a lot of navy and even the hot pink, I just didn't think that the light blue was going to show up all that well on the stickers, so I just ended up going with black. I would have used navy, but the only navy I have is a sharpie, and these are matte stickers, and I find that sharpie, even the really fine point ones, bleed on matte stickers, so I like to use my um, Statlers on matte stickers. Sharpies work great on glossy and on vinyl. So if you notice that giant bruise on the back of my hand, that is just because I was in the hospital earlier this week. Um, so you'll see that in an upcoming plan with me. I'm very behind, but I am trying to catch up. Um, it's nothing, nothing life-threatening um, at this point. Nothing too serious to worry about, but it just does mean some big lifestyle changes for me. And... Um, yeah, so nothing for you guys to worry about, but if you're wondering why I have that huge bruise, that's just from where um, I blew out a vein while I was trying to take blood, so yay. <laughs> doesn't hurt too much, only when I, you know, push on it and bang it on things, but it's getting better. Okay, so here I go putting my deco down. <laughs> It's nice and small. There's nothing super big. I was actually trying to find things big enough to put up the middle there. and There was only a couple of things I could use. These little crowns and these little um, little flowers are so pretty. And I didn't want to put, I didn't want to cut any of those girls in half, so I didn't end up putting any of them up the center. But I do put um, that balloon and then I put uh, the other bunting across. So just snip off those ends first because they're sort of just hanging over a bit. It's really pretty, I like it. A couple more little balloons. A little crown up there, I love that. And then just sprinkling the little blossoms around. There's lots of these tiny little roses. And they're so pretty. And I do take that other tiny crown and stick it in the, um, the O, the hole of that balloon. <laughs> Which I think looks quite cute. I was determined to use up all the deco in this kit this week. So now I'm finished. <laughs> I put my insects away. 
So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I loved how it turned out. I was really happy with it. And you can see how much I have left after a white space spread. No white space spread. It's huge, these kits. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.